Hello everyone, Mark Tress here. Welcome to the channel. And for today's video, we will be testing out the all new Kyrie Low 5. So I just got it fresh from the mall. So straight to a game right now. So we're gonna test it up. And I actually bought my Kyrie Infinity 2 to compare it a bit and see how what's the difference between the two if we should buy the takedown or just buy the signature one all right so um where are my sneakers now so i'll keep you posted there So I just purchased this Kyrie Low 5 actually yesterday and I immediately played with them. And the reason why I bought the sneaker is a lot of you have been requesting me to review this Kyrie Low 5 which is a takedown version of the signature sneaker of Kyrie Irving which is the Kyrie 8 or the Kyrie Infinity. So this is the fifth rendition of the Kyrie Low 5. I know it's kind of confusing with the numbers because the Kyrie Low 5 wasn't introduced at the same time with the signature line. They actually made a takedown version of the Kyrie's after three signature sneaker. So here we go. I actually wore some of the Kyrie though. I think I wore the Kyrie Low 4s or the Kyrie Low 3s. And the Kyrie Low 3s, I remember they played very well. I really like the heel to toe transition of that. The traction was really on point. So with this one, the low five, let's talk about the materials first before I give you some more details about this sneaker. So first up is the material around the toe area where you can see it's pretty much similar to the Kyrie eights or the Kyrie signature. The only main difference is it doesn't have that much padding below this fuse mesh that you can find from the forefoot to almost the heel part while you go here at the back part this is leather and there is some more textile mesh here which is soft around this area so this is a low cut sneaker but it's higher on the lateral part and it's kind of lower on the medial part so when you're moving your foot here so there's more ankle mobility this is where your ankle bone is so your ankle mobility is really nice on the Kyrie low fives and as for the tongue of the Kyrie low fives it has a very nice tongue that came with it it's really padded and it's kind of slanting outwards so that it kind of wraps your foot around this area more where usually where the shoe touches your foot more so that's a really nice innovation here on the Kyrie low five and one more thing that I really love about the Kyrie Low 5 is the wings and how they implemented it. This yellow leather that you can find in the lateral part of the forefoot and also around the mid part of the medial part of the sneaker. And this too, instead of just putting them in line together, they made it so that it will cover more surface area. So when I'm really pulling my laces yesterday, it was really kind of hugging my foot, kind of wrapping my foot like this. So it was a really nice feel to the sneaker. I really like the fit of the Cairo 5. And if you pay attention, this yellow part is not just stitched here, but it goes down to the footbed here. So it really gives you a very nice lateral support to the sneaker. And right off the box, it felt really nice. The support was really there. Really impressed with the support. And even on the middle part of the strap, you can see it goes down here. You can see this yellow part here. It kind of goes down to the footbed. So it really hugs your foot really nicely. So that's one thing that I really like about the sneaker. My first impression on that was when I immediately was tightening it, I felt that it was really hugging my foot really well. So I was kind of skeptical at first because on how fused the materials are on the Kyrie Low 5. Although it has the same material with the Kyrie 8, it's a little bit more firm or crunchier, if you get what I mean. You can hear that. So I thought it won't conform to my foot that quick, but 
Uh, I was wrong. I was really impressed with how they fit immediately around my foot. And what's nice about this sneaker is they removed the extra lining, which still makes the sneaker this sneaker comfortable, even though it has a thinner lining inside. And there's a lot of fusing around the forefoot to give it more durability and extra support. As you can see, this part, this is where they got it from the Kyrie 8. The Kyrie 8 has a higher curve here that goes up here a little bit more. They trim it down to make it a low cut sneaker. And I really like how it feels around the foot. It is a very comfortable sneaker. I was kind of wearing a thin sock, so comfort level of the material, even though it's heavily fused, is still very, very nice. One thing that I didn't like about the sneaker, of course, this is a takedown version, but it's not too cheap too. But the laces that they use here are really cheap laces. So I just wish that they use the same laces that they use in their other Nike sneaker, but that's just a little gripe. But as long as it does its job, it's not loosening up, it's still good. And these flat laces, even though they are cheap, they are not loosening up. And let's move on to the back part of the sneaker where you find this textile mesh. It has a very nice texture to it. It gives a little bit more dimension to the sneaker instead of those fusing, those a lot of fusing, which makes the sneaker very futuristic in terms of looks. This one kind of tones down the futuristic look to the sneaker. It gives it a different element. And as for heel containment, there's an internal heel cup to the sneaker and it's pretty hard too. So it gives a very nice heel containment lockdown. And as for ankle support, just tighten the laces and you'll be really locked down around the ankle. And speaking of lockdown, I actually tried this on store. This is a 10 and a half and I tried 11. And surprisingly, I went half a size down on the Kyrie Low 5s. Maybe the materials are really thin and it is a little bit groomy on the top of the sneaker around the forefoot part. So I think those two are the main reasons why I can go half a size down on the Kyrie Low 5. I'm a regular footer, so if you're a wide footer, go through to size. And I think this is a wide footer friendly because of like I've said, there's an extra space here on the forefoot part of the sneaker. And when I went half a size down, the lockdown on the heel around the ankle was really nice. And while on the US 11, there was a little bit more space so the lockdown wasn't that good and the forefoot material was kind of bubbling around the midfoot part so really go half a size down and if you can try it in store if you're not sure with the shape of your foot better try it in store luckily if you are here in the philippines it's available at nike park where i got this from and try it out first to get the best fit out of the carry low fives as for the insole it has a traditional insole nothing special there and let's go, of course, to the cushion part of the Kyrie Low 5. And there's a little bit more details around here. There's Hella here around the heel part of the cushion. And on the middle side is One World, One People. So, of course, those are the mantras of Kyrie. He's more towards peace and serenity and those kind of stuff. I actually really admired him for that. At first, I was kind of weirded out, but, but sometimes it may come out arrogant and sometimes borderline weird, like how he described the earth as a flat world. So those kind of stuff. But as of now, recently in his interviews, he makes a lot more sense now. So, so I actually applaud Kyrie for his knowledge about not just for the game, but in life generally. So now moving on to the cushion part of the Kyrie Low 5s. It features a four foot zoom. That I'm not sure how big the forefoot zoom are, but one of my friends told me it was just a bar shape here in the Kyrie Low 5s. And it feels like it's just a bar here. Correct me if I'm wrong. Even though it has a really small zoom unit, but actually I was really feeling the bounciness in the forefoot, mainly because I think of the carrying foam. I don't know if this is Phylon or Cushlon, but it's really, really soft. And because of the softness of the foam, you can feel the bounciness in the forefoot. And then I think it's a bottom loaded zoom, if I'm not mistaken. And the foam of this, I was comparing it with the Kyrie 8s. 
and the foam of the Kyrie Low 5s is a lot thicker compared to the Kyrie 8 which in my personal experience I like a thicker foam out of this even though it has a four even though the Kyrie 8s or the Kyrie Infinities has a four foot zoom struggle I like a little bit more impact protection around the four foot two and of course around the heel this one is a lot thicker so it gives me a bit more impact protection compared to the carry 8 so it's just a matter of preference but if you're someone who likes it really low to the ground and if you're a lighter player compared to me i'm a bigger player so i like to have it a bit more impact protection on my sneaker so that it will be friendlier around my knees because i'm not getting any younger too and i have a couple of injuries around my knees too tendonitis and some sprains around my knees so i really have to take care of my knees to prolong the longevity of my basketball career <laughs> So those are my two cents about why I choose to have more cushion, more foam below my foot. And it doesn't mean if you have a thicker foam like this, for example, this still has a very nice responsiveness and court feel to the sneaker. It's not too thick, it's not too thin. It's just the right amount. So I'm really impressed with the cushion of the sneakers. Heel to toe transition of the sneaker, as you can see, it has a really nice curve around the heel. So when you're heel striking, it really gives a very nice rocking motion and it's curved up here in the forefoot too. So it gives you a very nice heel to toe transition, especially when you're running up and down the floor. And as for the base, it's kind of curved compared to the carry 8s too, but it's still wide. It's flat here, but it's not too curved, like I said compared to the Kyrie 5s and the Kyrie 4s and going down to the entire Kyrie Yang from the 1s to the 5s. From the 1s to the 5s, it's really curved around the forefoot part. But with this one and the Kyrie 8s, it's kind of toned down. So it's a little bit more flat around the forefoot. So the stability on the sneaker is really, really nice too. Now let's move on to the outsole of the sneaker. It kind of looks similar to the Kyrie 8s, but they kind of modified it a bit. And what I was kind of looking at is the traction on the middle part of the forefoot wasn't that pronounced compared to the signature line, but just said it will be better if they maintain the traction around the middle part of the outsole. But I'm not that shifty, but for those I'm kind of thinking about for those who really like doing extreme crossovers and pullbacks and step backs to really use the traction around here in the forefoot part and for me i'm okay with the traction speaking of traction on a clean court man this was biting really hard last night it was really it was really biting really hard and i was comparing the rubber material of the lows and the signature line this is a lot softer even though this is xdr rubber I don't think this will be okay for outdoor use because it's more pliable and it's a lot softer but if you're just playing indoors the traction of the Kairi Low 5s is for me better than the Kairi 8 because it didn't need any breaking time and when I was playing I was really stopping really hard there's no delay on the traction really impressed with the traction in this I would pick the traction on the Kairi Low 5s instead of the Kyrie 8s but if you're playing outdoors like I've said the Kyrie 8s rubber compound is a little bit harder compared to the Kyrie Low 5s dust pickup is not a problem too I was kind of playing in a dusty floor but it wasn't picking up any dust and what's still gripping really hard on the floors and I'm really impressed with the traction and the cushion setup of the Kyrie Low 5s. I think there's a stability plate in the midfoot because there's a little bit torsional support here although it's not too hard but still it has I think it has a bar here because it's kind of rigid around the midfoot to give you more stability and torsional support. So guys, for my overall first impression performance review of the Kyrie Low 5s, honestly, I'm really impressed with the sneaker and I think I'll be continually playing with this. I really like how it performs. The upper really hugs my foot really well. Just get the right size. 
and the cushion set up really nice even though the zoom in is small it still is bouncy and there's a very nice impact protection around the heel too a very knee friendly sneaker and of course the traction of this one really bites really hard even though it is a dusty floor and it squeaks a lot too i mean really impressed on how this one performs it's a low cut sneaker a very nice heel to toe transition and as for the weight of the carry low fives it's 367 grams so it's one of the lightest sneakers out now in the market for me it kind of reminds me of a kobe sneaker so if you're a fan of a kobe sneaker i think you will like this kairi low fives because it really gives a very kobe vibe to it even the shape of the sneaker although it's not as snug as the kobe's around the forefoot but still here around the midfoot it has a very nice fit to the sneaker low, low cut sneaker and a good cushion setup plus attraction is on point so this is around 125 us dollars if i'm not mistaken so it's not too cheap too but at the same time it's not too expensive and for the performance that you'll be getting out of these i mean i'm really impressed with the first time that i used them it needs a little break in time that's why i gave this video immediately because i didn't need any break in time on the sneaker or anything in the sneaker that needs a second chance immediately i fell in love on how it performs how it feels and how it fits so guys i really recommend the Kyrie low fives and if you can get a pair unfortunately i think this is just out here in the asian region it's not yet out in the west but if you can get your hands on to the carry low fives it is a really good performing basketball sneaker so i'll be continually playing with this i'll give you an update on the carry low fives i'll be comparing it with the carry eights with the other sneakers that are out now in the market the zoom separate which is also one of my favorites and I'll give you an update on these sneakers. So this has been Marches once again. Thank you for dropping by this channel. I'll catch you on the next one. Cheers.